I got this feeling inside my bones It goes electric wavy when I turn it on All from my city, all from my home We're flying up no ceiling when we in our zone I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body when it drops Ooh, I can't take my eyes off of it Moving so phenomenally so don't stop And under the lights when everything goes Nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close When we move, well you already know So just imagine Nothing I can see but you when you dance I got that sunshine in my pocket Got that good soul in my feet I feel that hot blood in my body When it drops, ooh I can't take my eyes off of it Moving 
Take it slow, but it's not typical He already knows that my love is fire His heart was a stone, but then his hands were on I turned him to gold and it took him higher Well, I'll be a daydream, I'll be your favorite things We could be beautiful, get drunk on the good you to paradise 
days and night with an old film Smoke a little weed on the couch in the background Hide away
And now, please welcome the CSU Marching Band to perform the National Anthem, followed by the CSU Alma Mater. Please be seated. Welcome class 2023. <laughs> Thank you again to the CSU marching band under the direction of Dr. Tiandre Fegan. What an exciting time to start your CSU journey. Not, <laughs> Not only is Colorado State University celebrating 150 years, but we have the pleasure of welcoming a new CSU president, Joyce McConnell. Good afternoon. My name is Sofia Alvarez. I serve as a peer mentor in the North Star program through the Native American Cultural Center. I come from the Northern Cheyenne people of the Great Lakes and will be starting my junior year in Health and Exercise Department Fall 2019. <laughs> I am excited and also humbled to tell you all of, all of you about the important history behind the land and the people of these lands that CSU resides on. As Native people, we are deeply tied to the lands, from the plants and animals to the water and the mountains. So tonight, I would like to share this land acknowledgement and ask everyone in this room to reflect on the meaning and the responsibility that is held within these words. Colorado State University acknowledges, with respect, that the land we are on today is the traditional and ancestral homelands of Arapaho, Cheyenne, and Ute nations and peoples. This was also a site of trade, gathering, and healing for numerous other native tribes. 
We also recognize that the indigenous peoples as original stewards of this land and all the relatives within it. As these words of acknowledgement are spoken and heard, the ties nations have to the, their traditional land, homelands are renewed and reaffirmed. CSU is founded as a land grant institution and we accept that our mission must encompass access to education and inclusion. And significantly that our founding came at a dire cost of native nations and peoples whose land this university was built upon. This acknowledgement is the education and inclusion we must practice in recognizing our institutional history, responsibility, and commitment. Thank you for listening. <laughs> To help us kick off the convocation, please help me welcome Vice President for Student Affairs, Dr. Blanche Hughes. Thank you, thank you, Sophia. Good afternoon. It is my honor to welcome you our first year students to Colorado State University. Yeah. You finally made it. So I know that you all are experiencing many different emotions at this time. Some of you are ready to go. You have all your books, you are anxious to get to class and start your new academic journey and have already read the first chapters of your text for each of your classes so you could be ready, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you said your goodbyes or are planning to say your goodbyes to family and friends. You love meeting all the new people and you are wondering when you will sleep because there are just so many awesome people to talk with and new things to do and learn. Now others of you may feel a little torn. You want to be here, but you are missing home, your family, friends, your car, <laughs> maybe your pets. You are both excited but just a little worried about what this new place will mean for you. And some of you may just be outright scared, even though you're trying to fake it. Too many people, too loud, living in a small room that has a very small closet and no air conditioner, A roommate, a roommate that you are not quite sure about, just feeling, just feeling a bit overwhelmed. And many of you may have felt all of these emotions at some point today or yesterday when you moved in. But let's be clear. If you start to doubt whether CSU is the right place for you, if you start to wonder if you can make it here, I ask you to think about your journey up to this point. You have prepared yourself well, and you deserve to be here today. As you start your new journey here at Colorado State, I hope that you are excited about, I hope that you're excited about the opportunity to really focus on learning. Learning about career choices. Learning about yourself and others. Learning how to learn. Start by getting to know, start by getting to know your faculty members by going to office hours and talking with them. Ask them how they got through their first year of college. What advice do they have for learning the most from, the, from their courses? 
Talk to students on your residence hall floor, especially upper class students, students in your classes and your residence hall staff. Learn their stories as you continue to create your own story. Join a club or organization. Get a job on campus. Volunteer in the community. Be willing to learn new things, make new friends, share your perspectives, as you also learn to embrace new perspectives. And don't wait to do these things. Start now. Well, I mean like after this program, not right now. The first four weeks of the semester is a critical time to excel. Don't wait to see how life might be here. Set your own course for your success. As you reflect on your journey that led you to this day, be sure that you remember your support system that helped you to get here. You still need these people, your family, your friends, teachers, coaches, and mentors, as you start to build additional support networks here on campus. Share your new CSU experience with them. And don't be afraid to let them know when you need their support, when you make a mistake and need their love and advice, when you are lonely and need to hear their voices or see their faces. So make sure you take the time to acknowledge your family and special people in your life. A simple thanks will carry them through this difficult time as they struggle to learn to live without you being with them every day. Text them, email them, FaceTime, whatever else y'all do, or maybe even call, like on the cell phone, call, to let them know that you appreciate their sacrifice, their support, and their love. They need to hear from you, too. This, all right. Yeah. This is especially important to those of you who have parents and family members that could not be here today. It is important to stay connected with those that love you and that supported you as you prepare throughout your, who helped you prepare throughout your life for this special day. Your parents and family may not be moving into your residence hall room with you today to take care of you, but that's okay because there are people here at CSU that also care about you and also wanted to support you in your new journey. This includes faculty, staff, administrators, and returning students. You will find yourself surrounded by helpful people and resources here at CSU, and it's our expectation that this also includes all of you. As you heard during RAM orientation, RAMs take care of RAMs. If you see someone that needs support, a helping hand, maybe just a smile, please let them know that you care. One of our biggest strengths at CSU is our community. We have established principles of community that we strive to live up to. You are now part of this community, and we need each and every one of you to be invested in the academic success, safety, health, and personal growth in yourself and in all of our community members. Remember that it is not an accident that you are here today. You could be, you could be anywhere else in this world right now, but you have chosen to be here at Colorado State University. And we, we are all so glad that you are here. Welcome.
It is now my pleasure to introduce our Provost and Executive Vice President, Dr. Rick Miranda. Well, good afternoon, everybody. And let me extend my welcome to everybody from, from the academic core of the institution. As Provost, I'm honored to recognize the faculty and administration who are here today wearing these academic regalia. You've seen robes like this, right? They are a tradition that goes back centuries in academia. And we wear them today to remind you that you are joining a university and an academic enterprise that's dedicated to learning. So all of our folks here join us today to welcome you into our community and to mark this important tr transition. And I want to recognize the members of the platform party, people who work every day to support the students and faculty here at Colorado State. As I call your names, please stand and remain standing until all members of the platform party have been recognized. I'm very honored to be the first to formally introduce at a Colorado State University academic ceremony, the 15th president of Colorado State University and CSU's first woman president, Joyce McConnell. Now there's a few rest of us up here too. Um, <laughs> members of the president's executive leadership team, we have Dan Bush, our vice provost for faculty affairs. Why don't you hold your applause or maybe just give a single clap for Pam Jackson, interim vice president for external relations. Lynn Johnson, Vice President for University Operations. <laughs> Kelly Long, Vice Provost for Undergraduate Affairs. Blanche Hughes, you've met, Vice President for Student Affairs. Janine Moore, our Deputy General Counsel. Mary Antiveros, our Vice President for Diversity. Joe Parker, our Athletics Director. Lou Swanson, our Vice President for Engagement and Director of Extension. Mary Stromberger, Graduate School. Kim Tobin, Vice President for University Advancement. Stephanie Clemens, representing Faculty Council. And we have Dean John Hayes from the Warner College of Natural Resources. David McLean, Dean of the Walter Scott Jr. College of Engineering. Ajay Menon, Dean of the College of Agricultural Sciences. Jan Nerger, Dean of the College of Natural Sciences. Mark Stetter, Dean of the College of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences. Beth Walker, Dean of the College of Business. Bed Withers, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts. Lisa Youngblade, Dean of the College of Health and Human Sciences. And Audrey Chillington, Director of our School of Social Work. Now we're also joined on stage by your elected leaders of the CSU student body, Ben Admonson, President of the ASCSU, and Alex Fer Ferris, Fe Vice President of ASCSU. Now please join us in thanking all of our platform party. You may be seated. Well, again, welcome. And let me give you a special welcome from the faculty. And as I said, we're all wearing our academic robes here today to remind us of the essential academic character of the enterprise you're joining here this weekend. Academics are the reason you're here today to begin this exciting adventure of learning. And that's why we packed the platform with university leadership and academic faculty. Being a faculty member is one of the greatest jobs in the world. And we get to work with the brightest minds in the state of Colorado and beyond. Yeah, that's you. This is an, this is an incredibly exciting time for you. Many transitions in life are. But this one is pretty special. Most of you are going to be taking nearly complete charge of your life and direction for 
the first time maybe. And it's a chance to create yourself anew. And that's especially true in your approach to academic matters. There is an entire universe of discovery in front of you. And that's one way we, reason we call this place a university, by the way. And part of the thrill of being here is going to be your exploration into realms of learning that you may have some familiarity with or you may never have heard of before. It's truly a new world and you can become a new person in that world. You'll probably have setbacks while you're here. We all do. I do every day. It's a basic part of learning, actually. Don't be discouraged by them, but learn from them. Take advantage of the chance after a stumble to pick yourself up off the mat and, and climb a bit higher the next time. We're here to help you do that. That's part of our job. And also, and Blanche mentioned this very uh, well herself, make relationships and use all of those relationships to progress in your education. Get to know your professors and teaching assistants. Form study groups with peers in your classes. Reach out to more experienced students and let them show you the ropes. Use this vast network of amazing people here at CSU and add your amazingness to the conversation. Look for opportunities to truly collaborate and also realize that collaboration doesn't mean agreement. Listening to different viewpoints, probing uncomfortable subjects, having difficult discussions, that's all part of building bridges to a wonderfully diverse set of colleagues here that you'll have. Communication and questioning is key here, as you can imagine. There's a hierarchy to becoming a fully developed learner, and it starts with just learning the answers to questions. That's, that can be, that's the easy part. It proceeds to learning how to answer questions. And that can be quite a bit harder. But it culminates in learning how to ask questions. And that will be your final goal here and your ultimate goal. You need to be asking questions in this communication. And you have to get good at asking questions. And that's what we're here to help you learn how to do. And when you ask questions, it's incumbent on, upon you to listen to what comes back. Really listen. What comes back may not be answers, by the way. Often in our business, it's more questions. But that's all part of learning. And that's all why you're here this, this weekend, why you'll be here for the coming years. It's going to be a great, great experience. Welcome to CSU. Go Rams. Now, as you look to uh, graduating a few years from now, becoming one of our honored alumnus or alumni, I want to help, I want you to welcome one of our proud CSU alumni members, Christy Bolander. Christy received her bachelor's degree in business administration, 1993, master's in business administration in 95 from CSU, and she now represents the Rams on a daily basis as the Assistant Vice President and Executive Director of the Alumni Association. Please joining, join me in welcoming Christy Bolander. On behalf of the Alumni Association, welcome to Colorado State University. If you don't mind, on the count of three, can we get a really loud Go Rams? One, two, three. Go Rams! Today you begin a walk down the path that was forged by our first three graduates, the class of 1884, Leonidas Loomis, Elizabeth Coy, and George Glover. They knew that an investment in higher education would alter the course of their futures, and I am certain that they would be so proud of each and every one of you for committing to the challenge of obtaining your degree and for following in their footsteps to and through Colorado State University. As you have heard from our campus leaders, many systems are in place right now to support you through your journey. 
There are hundreds upon hundreds of staff and faculty members who have made you and your successes our number one priority. I can guarantee that when you are picking up your graduation regalia at the Iris and Michael Smith Alumni Center in just a few short years, you will feel like your time here went way too quickly. Once you graduate though, you will join our proud community of RAM alumni and you will find that they are not only passionate about Colorado State University, but they are passionate about you and they want to welcome you, their fellow RAM. You now have another family, the RAM family, which is 232,000 alumni strong. The RAM, okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Go Rams! The Ram family believes in you and wants you to know that they support you as you make your way into this world. Right now, our Ram alumni are participating in Colorado State University in record numbers. Our alumni serve as mentors to our students. They speak in classrooms. They assist with admissions. They come to and volunteer at events like the 38 who are ready to greet you at your dinner after this program. They put on their green and gold to cheer on our Ram student athletes. They join the Alumni Association, they hire our students and connect you back with potential employers, and they give generously back to this campus to create scholarships and build state-of-the-art facilities, all to support you. When you, when, you wanna do it again? Is that what I'm hearing over here? All right, one, two, three, go Rams! When you leave here, we hope that you will also stay connected to your alma mater. We hope your time in Fort Collins is the beginning of a lifelong relationship, not only with each other, but with Colorado State University, as it was for Leonidas, for Elizabeth, and for George. Your continued involvement and your commitment will ensure that Colorado State University not only will continue to grow, but flourish for our next generation of students. On behalf of the entire Colorado State University Alumni Association, we are so thrilled that you are here and we look forward to being a part of your journey. Welcome to the Ram family and in all that you do, go Rams. I now have the pleasure to introduce the 2019-2020 Associated Students of Colorado State University President, Ben Amison. Well, good evening, class of 2023. Hey, well, well, my name is Ben Amundsen, and I am your student body president for this academic year. Um, sitting behind me, though, is really the heart and soul of our student government. It's your student body vice president, my best friend, Alex Ferris. Can we give her a round of applause as well? Well, hey, let me tell y'all something. My story starts a little different than most CSU Rams. Uh, in the fact that my earliest memories in life are actually not from America. Um, they're from the countries I grew up in, like Venezuela and Indonesia. I want to share something with y'all. I, I want y'all to just picture something. The idea of a degree from an American university like CSU to much of the world is an unfathomable dream. It's, it's not even something that they think they could ever achieve. So I, I want us to take that thought and just understand something. We truly are privileged. We truly are blessed. I, wa I want you to take a moment and look around. This is where your CSU experience begins, here at Ram Welcome. So while there are a million different things that you might be feeling right now, can we zone in on one emotion for just a second? It's an emotion of purpose. Maybe all that you have done in life to get you to where you are seated today means something. Maybe the decisions and choices that you make matter. And maybe you can use what you've been given to give back to others. It is important for each and every one of us to take responsibilities as member of the CSU, commu of the CSU community, to respect others and ourselves, regardless of our differences, is what makes us good CSU students. Whether you make an impact on a fellow student or the CSU community at large, stepping out of your comfort zone and starting the journey is the CSU way. Colorado State and the Fort Collins community are unique. You don't find a group of people like this anywhere else in the world. 
It is extraordinary how the culture of this city is evolving, and we as citizens play such a vital role in bringing both innovation and life to the heart of the Fort Collins family. You know, if, if I could go back to my freshman year, I would give myself two pieces of, of advice. The first piece of advice, focus more on who I want to be than what I want to do. I'll say that again. Focus more on who you want to be than what you want to do. Education is not just about jobs and professions. It's about developing yourself into a person that you want to be. Piece of advice number two, smile more often. People notice, I promise. Class of 2023, I want to congratulate all of you on joining the RAM family. You're a RAM for life, so get involved, go to the student tailgates, and find a new favorite tradition. I would be a bad student body president if I didn't tell you all about my favorite tradition. Every year before we play the CU Buffaloes at the Rocky Mountain Showdown, we have a little event on campus. It's called Grill the Buffs. Y'all, y'all, it's a giant pep rally on the west lawn of the Student Center where we literally grill our opponent's mascot and hand out thousands of buffalo burgers. You're not going to want to miss this one. It's this Wednesday during the lunch hour just outside the Student Center. Come join us and let's eat some buffalo. That's right. But there are many other traditions that make us CSU Rams. Y'all are actually all taking part in that tradition already because you're wearing your forever green t-shirts. Those are special. Each year, you as the student body have the privilege of voting on the next year's t-shirt. Wear it with pride because you were part of the tradition, the forever green tradition. Enjoy what Ram welcome and go Rams. And now I am honored to introduce the 15th president of Colorado State University, Joyce McConnell. Good afternoon. So y'all have been sitting a little bit. Why don't you stand up and stretch? <laughs> feel? Good. Okay, great. So thank you, Ben, and thanks to all the leaders on this stage who have already stood up tonight and welcomed you as our newest students to CSU. You all are beautiful. You need to know that. Because 65 years from now, when you look at your picture, you're going to say, darn, I look good. <laughs> so make sure you get lots of pictures today. I am your 15th president, and I am honored to be the 15th president in the 150th year. It is truly extraordinary. CSU is an extraordinary place. You are here to do incredibly important things. You're here to educate yourself. Dr. Hughes has already urged you to learn all that you can, wherever you can, whenever you can. You'll have a lot of opportunities to do that on this campus. What I want to emphasize is the role you play in that learning. This is your education, no one else's. It's yours, you own it. You get to live it, and once you have it, no one can take it away. Here at CSU, it is yours for the taking from world-class faculty and staff in innovative and exciting research and lab spaces, in classrooms and theaters and out in the field and on farms and in the mountains. But you've got to seize the learning opportunities we're offering and make them your own. You get to educate yourself. 
Now I'm going to give you something to remember. It's E cubed. Can you remember E cubed? It's education, exploration, and engagement. And if you remember E cubed, whenever you're wondering about what you ought to be doing while you're at CSU, you'll remember what it is. I mean literally this is the most extraordinary place. It's the most beautiful campus you'll ever find in the midst of some of the most beautiful parts of the country. So get out there, take your shoes off, lie back on the grass on the oval, go hiking or kayaking, get a bike, and don't forget your helmet, okay? I have to, I have to encourage you to be responsible. But I want you to explore in other ways too. Explore ideas and books that intrigue you. Explore your own talents and interests. And particularly explore other cultures and languages, diverse people who are here with you. In the classroom and in conversations with people in your residence halls. When you do that, you will discover that the world doesn't get smaller the more you explore it. It gets bigger because more and more possibilities open up. And while you're exploring our campus and our world, keep your eyes open for what you can do to make that world a better place. I recently heard a phrase that I loved and I want to share that with you. Get caught making a difference. And each and every one of you can. Do that, whether it's in your residence hall or in a maker space on campus on a study abroad trip or just on the streets of Fort Collins, you can make our world better, cleaner, safer, kinder, brighter, greener. Honestly, when I think about the impact that all of you are going to have on our world and our future, I am overwhelmed. I cannot wait to see what you do. And you must, must, while you're here in your four years, tell us what you're doing and at the point that you actually leave us and you have these kinds of robes on when you graduate in four years or five years if you're on the longer term plan or even stay for graduate education. You have always got to let us know what you were doing. I'm asking you to do all of this and to engage in our world. I challenge you to take responsibility for yourself and for others as you join our campus community. And what do I mean by that? I'm asking you to think about how your actions affect you, the people around you, and our whole community. Accept responsibility for your own well-being by getting enough sleep. That's really hard to do. Eating right, exercising when it feels good, doing your classwork, and asking for help when you need it. Right away, don't wait. Because you know what? You're gonna fail at something. We all have, every one of us. We manage to get through life and look where we are. So don't be discouraged by failure. Ask for help if you need it, but think about what it is you can do next. Pick yourself up, move on, and we're here to help you do that. Accept responsibility for your behavior toward other people. We'll tell you this a lot. Rams take care of rams. And that's true. Rams do take care of rams. It means that rams don't belittle one another. They don't bully one another. And on this campus, we do not ever, ever resort to physical violence or intimidation in any situation. So accept that responsibility and make CSU the best campus that it can possibly be in the entire world, leading the way for kindness, respect, and no violence. And finally, accept your responsibility for the impact you have on our community and our world. We are proud to be an environmentally friendly campus, 
but we need the commitment from each and every one of you to stay that way. Today, you saw it in action, all of the places you could take your styrofoam, your cardboard, your other things that you needed to recycle. We had people all over campus working on sustainable issues and recycling, and I want to thank everyone who did that to keep our campus green. We're also proud, very proud, and very committed to be a diverse and inclusive community, one that welcomes people from all over the world. We have 105 countries represented here in this class. We're <laughs> Actually, what I should have said is 105 count countries total and all 50 states. So welcome to all of you from wherever you're from. We're ready to embrace each and every one of you and to give you a voice at CSU. Each and every one of you matters to us. You matter greatly. But in return, we ask you to listen to the other voices around you, to respect them, even when you disagree, because disagreement is what we need to engage in in a campus in the exchange of ideas. Disagreement is what leads to those questions that Provost uh, was talking about. And to embrace each other, embrace the possibility of how you learn from one another and learn from that diversity. We're truly on this journey together because remember, this is my first year at CSU too. I only beat you here by about 40 days. I'm so proud of you already, and I know I will be even prouder when I present you with your CSU diplomas in just a few years. Thank you. Thank you for being here. You all are extraordinary. You all will make us better. I cannot wait to work with each and every one of you. Let's give it up one more time for President McConnell as well as our incredible university and student body leadership. Now, I've heard Moby Arena get pretty loud before, but I have high expectations that the class of 2023 can be even louder. So I have one question for y'all. Are you proud to be a CSU Ram? That was pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. But I want it to be even louder in here. Now I don't know if you remember, but during your RAM orientation, we did a CSU cheer. And since we are all finally together, I wanna see how loud we can be as the entire class of 2023. So with that, when I point to this side of the room, I want y'all to shout S or C as loud as you can. Let's try that real quick. C. Awesome. Now, right in the middle here on the floor, I want you all to yell S as loud as you can. Yeah. Awesome. And of course, we couldn't do it without you. Aww. <laughs> so when I point at y'all, y'all are going to say? Yeah. Awesome. So we are going to do that three times. And at the very end, we are going to take, if you are able, we are going to take our hand of choice in the air and shout Rams. Let's try that all together real quick. All right, awesome, here we go. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, awesome job, everyone, awesome job. Now, my name is Max Peterson. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm going to my fourth year studying business administration. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska. And I serve as the student coordinator for orientation and transition programs here at CSU. And on behalf of orientation and transition programs, I want to welcome you home to Colorado State University.
and I am really fortunate to welcome the class of 2023. Now this moment right here, right now, is very special. I vividly remember sitting right where you're at, specifically over here with my Durward family. But I remember sitting there, and of course, I may not remember every single word that was said that day, but I do remember being nervous. And although I was nervous, I was also excited for all the challenges that would come my way and the growth I would experience being on my own for the very first time. Now you see, the reason that this moment is so special is because this is the only time you will be surrounded by your entire class. And you know what? You already have two things in common with one another. The first is that you are all here to graduate. And the second is that we are all CSU Rams. And as Rams, we participate in Ram Welcome. Ram Welcome is an experience that builds off your Ram orientation and is the next step towards your graduation. Over the next few days, you will have the amazing opportunity to interact with not only your peers, but also staff, faculty, and administration. I encourage all of you to engage in this opportunity, dive in, and participate fully. Because like a very influential woman, Dr. Blanche Hughes once said, embrace this moment because you will never have this moment again. I challenge you all to bring your best self forward, strive to seek understanding, and look for opportunities to engage in the CSU community, and you will get more out of this journey than you could have ever imagined. And at this time, I would like to acknowledge some people in this room that are perfect examples of what it means to embody the CSU spirit. As a community, we strive to live out our principles of community and leave places better than we found them. So at this time, I would rec like to recognize the student staff who have worked countless hours to prepare for your arrival to ensure you have all your need to succeed over your time here. Yeah. <laughs> so with that, your resident assistants, inclusive community assistants, and other Residence Life student staff leaders have been preparing tirelessly for your arrival and will be there for you for this entire year. So let's give them a round of applause. We also have 280 of your peers, your Ram Welcome leaders, who are rocking those lovely gold shirts. And they are also volunteering their time over the next four days for nothing but to give back to CSU. So ask them questions and engage with them. They're here to serve you and lead you through this experience. Let's give it up for your Ram Welcome leaders. Now I want to take a moment to talk, to talk about all the pride and traditions here at CSU. Every Friday we wear green to show our CSU spirit around campus. This is called Get Your Green On. Talk to your RAs for potential incentives for going green. Now because we started this all on such a high note with our cheers, let's end it the same way with the CSU fight song. Now, if you are willing and able, I'd like to invite y'all to stand up with me as we sing the fight song. Now, I would like you to join the CSU marching band as they play the fight song loud and proud. And if you do not remember the words, that's okay. They're on the back of your Forever Green t-shirts. Now, class of 2023, please join your CSU marching band and sing our CSU fight song.
Let's hear it for the CSU mar marching band under the direction of Dr. Tiandre Fegan and our spirit squads led by Don Burton. From the fight song to the faculty and administration academic regalia, tonight's event is immersed in CSU tradition. And one more tradition remains, the academic recessional. I ask that everyone please be seated and remain seated to show respect for the faculty as they exit the arena. I now invite the CSU marching band to begin the recessional music. Once the music begins, I ask that the platform party stand with the music and ex exit the stage in reverse order that you entered, led by the mace bearer and the president. Thank you for taking part in tonight's program. I now want to invite you to join me and the CSU Alumni Association on the intramural fields for the new student and family welcome dinner. There's plenty of food for everyone and there is no need to rush. But to help manage the flow of people exiting the arena, we are going to release you by sections. So please remain seated until I call you from your section to exit. One sec, one sec. Once called, please exit from the same doors you entered earlier this evening. Thank you all so much, and we will see you outside. Now section E, F, O, P, and the Moby floor, which is Corbett, Newsom, Laurel Village, Pinion, Alpine, and Braden, please exit. Everyone else stay put unless your section was called.